Greetings, people of the internet. Here we are on uh, Kokut in uh, eastern Thailand near the uh, Cambodian border. It's an island that's uh, 111 square kilometres, so it's not very big, but it's uh, um, probably as it's been described as uh, the last unspoiled island in Thailand, and most of it is. Uh, covered in jungle and later on we'll be going up and uh, having a look at the waterfall and some some of the jungle and uh, we'll give you a look at the accommodation available here like we'll show you where we're staying at uh, Chor Chorba which is uh, the budget accommodation and we'll take you down to the Deceti Resort which is just like picture postcard beautiful and which is kind of mid-range I mean from Australian standards I mean uh, it's still like a pretty cheap hotel room down there but beyond our budget because we're like real budget travelers so yeah so um, we'll start uh, by uh, showing you around Chochoba It's all very nice and uh, jungly here and it's only uh, some hundred metres from the beach. You just have to go across the road and walk down. One thing I like about uh, this place we're staying is that they're doing their thing to reduce plastic waste. One of the major sources of plastic waste here is the fact that you have to drink bottled water because you can't drink the tap water. And here, uh, they're reusing the bottles and uh, every time you refill your bottle, you make a donation to the local temple. So it's... Um, a win-win situation that we're reducing plastic waste and uh, we're donating to charity at the same time. These here are the rooms uh, of the Happy Days Guest House, which is uh, run by the uh, same management as uh, Chutorba next door. And uh, these are also uh, quite nice rooms. The budget accommodation here on Kirkwood is uh, quite high quality. It even has fire safety like is a uh, fire extinguisher. And up here there's a nice uh, chill out area in front of the rooms with hammocks and stuff. And a nice view of the road. Gardens here are just so nice.
and right next to the Ava Dive Shop. It's actually meant to be quite a good one. Um, not like a production line one, they'll tailor uh, the day to whatever uh, suits you, to what sort of level you're up to in diving. So, yeah, it's in, it's in a good location. There's even a little shop there, just right next door where you can get your basic essentials. They've even got some beer and cigarettes and snacks, water, stuff like that. And right out here in the front, you have a restaurant and you can get your laundry done for 60 baht a kilo, which is uh, about $2.60, 70 And there's also a couple of restaurants at the front, so you don't have to go far for a feed. Now, uh, another thing I might mention for people uh, who are unfamiliar of the protocol of when you're walking around, when there's no footpaths, is you should always walk on the side of the oncoming traffic so you can see what's coming towards you. Because around here, you've got to be uh, very aware uh, of where you are and what the traffic is doing because uh, on this island, a lot of these people riding these bikes are tourists and they're not actually licensed to drive ride a bike in their own country. So many of them don't have the skills, so you've got to watch out. And at night, you should be walking along with your uh, light on your phone so that any oncoming traffic can see you a long time uh, before they get to you. Yeah, but all that being said, the best way to experience Kokut is on a motorbike because there isn't really any other transport on the island. There's those kind of ute taxi things that you sit in the back, but they charge a fair bit if you want to call one and get, you, uh, get them to drive you around. Where There's lots of places on the island that you can uh, rent a motorbike for 250 to 300 baht per day. But, you know, you gotta make sure you got the skills before you go riding around. And also that if you are not licensed to ride a motorbike in your home country, and if you do not have an international driving permit, your travel insurance may refuse to pay out if something happens, you know? And a friend of mine, it actually happened to him here on this uh, island. Um, yeah, he, uh, it was dark, he missed the corner, ended up in the ditch with a broken leg and his uh, travel insurance refused to foot the $36,000 bill. So, uh, be careful people. This is one of those uh, ute taxi things I was talking about before. It's all rather uh, primitive transportation, you just sit on the a bench in the back of a ute and hang on for dear life. <laughs> but that's all part of the adventure. And now, you're gonna see a very special place. This is the Ducida Resort Kokukult. Um, yeah, rooms here are about $150 Australian per night, but the restaurant and the bar are really cheap. You get uh, meals for about uh, 150 baht, fried rice is like 90 baht, so that's real good value. Um, and the place is spectacular. And if you just go in there and you buy a meal and drinks, you can uh, use the private beach. So check this joint out, it's really, really something. Okay, so here we go. Like, you think this place is going to be like, really expensive walking down here. Yeah, how much is this going to cost? But 
Wow, well, we're so pleasantly surprised, and the people here are just so nice too, and welcoming. I mean, the only unwelcoming thing here is these signs at the entrance that do not trespass on private property. But if you actually read it, it's just because people uh, come to here they think they can use it and not pay for the upkeep because look at this place. This lawn is manicured. It's like carpet. Yeah, these are the bungalows here. I think they're the ones around 150 a night, which is pretty good. Look, you're on the beach. I mean, what would you get into? How much would this cost in Australia? You pay like four, five hundred a night. It wouldn't even be as pretty. And, wow, bonus, you get beautiful dogs.